Workers in the informal sector are worried that uh, they lack what they described as basic economic rights. They say lack of inclusion could lead to a delay in turning around Nigeria's economic fortunes on the long run. Olawako reports. From mechanic workshops through markets and other workplaces occupied by artisans in the country, the informal economy, which constitutes 60% of the working population, contributes 58% of Nigeria's gross domestic products. Meanwhile, workers in the sector are believed to be operating in makeshift, unregulated environment with low capital and very rudimentary technologies. The vast majority of Nigerians working daily, contributing their quota to national development, are actually in the informal sector. But unfortunately, uh, we discovered that their basic rights uh, to social economy well-being are uh, largely ignored. We believe that government has a role to play in enhancing the capacity of those who are doing work, work in the informal sector. The Federation of Informal Workers Organizations of Nigeria believes that adequate socioeconomic provisions for members may just be a solution to the high poverty rate in the country. When a vast number of the citizens of a country, no matter how educated, no matter how civilized, are living in grinding poverty, the possibility of acts to destabilize the society is always there. But also that is what you expect that the government will do, that they will realize that we need to do something about the, the crisis facing the people, the citizens, especially the poor and the vulnerable. The federal government social investment programs is assumed to be making some gains in expanding the sector's value chain, but challenges rising from harassment, extortion and wanton evictions remain high. It was during the regime of uh, Governor Latif Jakande that the place was given to us, approved to us as a mechanic workshop. On the 20th of October 2016, when the many the Minister of uh, Justice, land grabber to be particular, under Minister of Justice came forcefully to evict us. Many, many places in Africa, we don't have the government of the people. We have the government of the rich men. We have the government of the capitalists. We have the government of the people who are controlling our nations. We have such government. And we want, if any government calls itself the government of the people, it should mind our people in their fundamental right. This workshop is to equip members with their fundamental rights as well as appeal to government at all levels to ensure social protection provisions for informal workers in the country. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.